Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a plan with me for you for the week of November 9th through to the 15th and I'm going to be using this kit from Poppy Willow Co called Fall in the, Co Fall in the City. It is a gold foiled kit um, and I'm going to be using it in my Paper Chase Agenzio notebook which as you can see is just a blank, a blank um, dot grid notebook and so if you want to see how I'm using this kit in this planner then stay tuned. Okay, first things first, I actually need to trim the pages of my planner because I didn't do that yes, uh, last week. So, because I use tabs in my planner, which are from Notes and Clips, I have to trim my pages so that the tabs fit. So it's kind of like a real planner. Um, if you want to see my setup video for this planner, I'll link it in the um, description below or in the cards if I remember. Um, and uh, yeah. So I just trim off the last um, square and then it gives space for my um, tabs to show through, which is really awesome. So this is a large size of Gen Zero notebook from Paper Chase. Um, it's called Large um, and it actually is kind of slightly taller than a classic habit planner or a life planner um, that I'm aware of. Um, so yeah. And so what I like to do is to use kits that have got full heart uh, checklists and with like just like this. Um, and what I normally do is start off with the bottom washi at the bottom. So let's find the washi sheet. Here it is. Oh, this is beautiful washi. This plaid um, with the green bows. So beautiful. And it is separated into, there's a, a separation here. Um, so I'm going to use both parts of the washi and I'm going to extend it across the whole of the edge of my planner. I love how that looks um, in the end. It's just moving up a bit. Having the whole bottom of the page the same. I think it looks really pretty, really classy. So there we go. Now because it's on this side, I'm actually going to do it like this. And I'm actually going to it take it off the middle bit as well. Gonna be fiddly, but I think it'll be worth it. So what I'm doing here is just cutting the extra bits off so that I can make it look seamless. If I get this right, <laughs> who knows if I'll actually be able to do it? But we'll see. Not seamless, but it's still pretty. There we go. That's one bit done. And then the green bit. There we go. Well, from you guys' point of view. <laughs> Off camera, you can't even tell. That's so cool. Okay, um, and then I'm going to add the um, checklist um, on top of it. Um, there's a whole picture here where the checklists are, so I'm just gonna just start from one end and just work my way over. And I am gonna include one in the sidebar at the bottom here. Um, I'm gonna call it this week, or actually I'm thinking I'm gonna call it next week. So, yeah, I'm just going to measure that up there and then work my way over. There's going to be a bit more of a gap between 
the sidebar and the first column. So that's fine. So then in between the rest of the week. But yeah. So um we have had a week back at school now. Um and I've met my student who's um training how to be a teacher and uh he's under my wing, which is uh, exciting stuff. Um he's called so yeah, um, he's going to be doing some of my lessons um, this week as well, which is going to be fun. I get to be doing some more observations, so we'll see how it gets on. The foiling on this is just so beautiful, it really, it's quite nice and subtle and just done so well. And her paper quality is really good too. Yeah, really enjoy working with this. I kind of feel like I should have moved that over a bit. I have to remember that. So there. So there we have my check boxes. So the headers for these I'm going to use from the kit, and I need to make sure I remember to do next week on the sidebar so that I don't get completely confused. And then we'll do to do headers, and I'm just gonna. You uh, just go across. Although, so I'm just gonna move that. Sorry, I want the pattern to maintain. Ah. Then the kind of grey. This is kind of how the, my country, uh, the country is looking at the moment. It's just all sorts of colours and the weather's been really clear and crisp. So it's just felt really, really, I don't know, I've just had, we've had really fantastic weather this week. Um, it's been cold <laughs> and my form were absolutely like, they were like, I can't believe you really like this weather, miss. It's so cold. And I'm like, oh, it's the best when like the sun is shining and it's super crisp and clear and it's cold. Um, it really is my favourite weather, so I, it's just, I love it. And uh, so yeah, super, super, super pleased. There we go, there's a little foil shimmer for you. Okay, next up I normally do my full boxes across the middle here. Um, although I, I'm in two, no, yeah, I'm going to do my full boxes uh, across the middle. Some but went past. Um, so we have this double box here, which could look really cute here. And then we've got um, another street scene, which will probably go on the other side. And then we've got the clip art boxes that we can scatter amongst. So let's do the full the double box here. I'm just going to take it up a notch to this line here. Ah, come on. There we go. I've been to um, New York in February and I've been to New York in August. Never seen it in the autumn though. Um, I'm guessing it's, yeah, I can imagine it being just beautiful. Um, August, it's just sweatiness. Gonna do this taxi here. Kind of keep it away from the green headers. Um, I love this wreath. I think to think what my full box up here is going to be, but I do have some overlays that could work really well on here on this box here. So I don't know. Hmm. I want to use these here. Oh, that went a bit wonky. And then the side little sign post, I think. And then this one can go up there. And I, I think I've got a uh, an overlay. 
Um, so across here on this sidebar, I'm going to add my Monday through Sunday, kind of in the same position as my full boxes, kind of keeping that kind of trend going. And what I'm going to do is use, because I've got a suitable header, mm, not really. I kind of want it for like dinners, for food. Um, and there's no script sticker either. That seems like that. Hmm. Maybe I should do the This Week header. Like food. There we go. And then for the headers across the top of the four boxes, I want to use... I swear... There was... Have Dexter's headers? Or maybe I'm mistaken. Oh, I don't think there are. Mm. I guess I'm just going to use the little things. Seems a bit strange, but I didn't get the um, foiled headers add on for this kit, so. We'll do little things and that's fine. Matching the headers as I go. It works. Okay. I am losing the light a little bit as well. So if the light kind of changes because of the exposure on my camera, then I do apologize. It's tricky. Filming in the UK in the winter, um, but hopefully I'm going to get some new lights and we'll see how those fit. So um, normally after I've done this, I head up to my date covers because then it gives me a little bit of a, more of an idea about how much space I actually have to plan. And these date covers from Papua Co are always really, really big. Um, they're useful for like covering lots of different types of planners. But also it means, it does mean that we have to be, we get a little bit less space in this planner. However, that's not too much of a problem because actually we get more space because it's taller than a regular planner, a regular kind of standard size. So what I'm doing is I'm going to a level of the dots and then I'm just extending it up into the kind of blank area at the top. And uh, that actually looks really cute. So there we go, I always start with Wednesday so I can uh, remember where I'm at and then we'll do the next second part of the week. So what's so useful about dot grid is you can kind of get a bearing and it's not too invasive. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got Saturday and Sunday. Okay, and this kit does come with date dots too, and with the green background, so I'm just going to place uh, the dates in the wreaths, and that looks really cute. Um, I like it when I can use everything from a kit and not, you know, have to worry about buying extra stickers, but just using what's in the kit. Obviously, it's going to be really tricky to use these the rest of these numbers, but I will keep them and we'll see. I mean, the screen is so unique, but it's okay. Gosh, I can't believe it's November already. It just dawned on me. <laughs> okay, so um, oh, we have these really beautiful flags. I'd love to pull in as a weekend banner, and there is a really cute weekend sticker that we could place over the top. Have I got anything planned for this weekend? Well, we're in the middle of a lockdown. We are not allowed to go anywhere. So the most I'll be doing is a food shop. So I'm gonna do a little weekend banner. Uh, basically, there's lots of these beautiful flags that come with this kit and I'm just gonna place them next to each other across the weekend as like an impromptu, kind of like a ready designed um, 
we can manner. And because they are vertically designed, um, this works out really, really well. So hopefully we've got enough to cover the space. Oh, maybe we don't. I kind of need to do, spread it out a little bit. Okay. It looked like we had enough space. I'm just being a bit. Try and get these bit more. I don't think it's gonna work. Oh no, I've been popping the sticker. All the paper, I can't work out which one. Okay. Oh no, what's doing here? Okay. Oh! It's the worst. Just scooch this one a little bit over and then it should look okay. Oh no, completely ripped that sticker. Okay, that's not going to sit down because I ripped the sticker completely. Oh no. I could feel it going and I just carried on pulling. And I've got these giant nails on. Okay, I'm going to just leave it and put the wreath in fanner down and then I'm going to fix that one with some glue. Actually, that looks pretty cute. Okay, we're going to forgive that and I'm going to stick that down with some glue. <laughs> I don't have any upstairs with me right now, but I will fix that with glue in a second. So yeah, oh my gosh, my heart is pounding. Um... <laughs> So across the top here, I just want to use a box. I think I'm going to use this um, pad pattern box just up here for the um, for the month. And I think I might even use this wreath, just kind of move it. Mm, maybe not, it's a bit big. This deco is kind of huge. Maybe the sunglasses to layer my month sticker. And then I'm going to add that full box, last full box that we had. I'm not going to use the personal coffee, it's just, it's not very me. Um, but yeah, and then I'm just going to pop this down as, and see if I can find that overlay that I've been talking about. And then add um, the habit tracker with um, a home sticker. I think I'm gonna use. There's a lot of plaid going on here. That's okay. And then, then we can the uh, heavy tracker. Awesome. Okay, so for my actual plans then for the week, um, uh, Monday, I've got them written down somewhere. So we've got, it's the week of parents' evenings, essentially, this whole week. Um, I've got a parents' evenings for my sons and then also for me too. So I'm just going to pull in these little plaid stickers here at the bottom, I'm going to try and match with my headers. So we have phone calls with my son's teachers. So my son is, sons are in reception, which is um, reception and also in year three. And so they're going to phone us and we've got a five minute phone call. And then the parents evening that I actually have to be the teacher of is for year 13 and we are doing that via video chat using a software that we have already with the school. Um, so I actually, that actually really shouldn't be that because it's literally all evening. Um, it's from 4.45 till 7.30. So I'm gonna just use um, a half box for the marking that is like gonna take up, it's, it's my evening basically. When I get home, I'm just gonna like wanna go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> have a glass of wine maybe and then go to bed <laughs> so yeah so um I'm just gonna put a full a full box there um let's see if there are any icons that I can use for like parents evenings and chats and stuff there's a phone icon here but I think there's only one and then the video chat itself 
Um, it's kind of a TV, but it's not really. It kind of needs a laptop sticker, really. I'm not sure there is a laptop on here. No. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm just going to leave it and see if I can bring these in for something else. So those are the kind of big things that are happening. Then obviously we've got all the regular meetings and things that I have. So we have Team Bio Monday morning, which means I don't have as much time in the morning as I normally do. And then also on Friday mornings I have um, my Year 7 meeting. So I'll just pop those down for that. Um, And then... Let's see. Uh, Wednesday is Remembrance Day. So the 11th is obviously a very special day. We remember the end of the First World War and we hold a minute silence. We normally do something really cool at school, but we're not allowed to, we won't be able to do that now for COVID, due to COVID because it involves getting the whole school together. Um, and we're not going to be able to do that this year. Um, so... It was Remembrance Day though, so I will still be marking that down. And is there... Oh, I was just thinking, what if there's a Remember sticker, but I don't know. Um, and the header... Ah, oh, there's a look. There's a little arrow here that says Remember. So I'm just going to pop that in the box. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah. And then... Oh, Friday, Nikki Plus Three is having her Black Friday sale, and I just been I've just been on Instagram. That's why I can remember it. <laughs> so I kind of want to pop that in. I'll probably just use one of these scallops just to remind us. I won't be until later, so I'll pop it down here, and I'll add a little shopping script just above the top. So Nikki Plus Three is having her Black Friday sale. And then on Saturday, I will be doing my filming for the, the next following week. And I've got space for a half box here, so I'll put one of those in. And there isn't a YouTube icon, so I'm just going to pull that to mark that I'll be filming that day. Um, and then Saturday Sunday will be when my plan with me goes live. So I have a video going on Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. So, is there a way that I can mark those to remind and remember that I've got videos going live and what video they are? So, flag there. Flag on Thursday. I need to film Thursday's video still, actually. And then a flag on Sunday. Sunday will be my plan with me. And then I think that is all the important things that are happening. Oh, apart from Wednesday evening will be Famalam. So I need to make sure that I remember that. I'm going to use one of these cut out um, scallops for that. And there happen to be a couple of champagne <laughs> icons on here. So I'm going to pop one of these to mark Famalam. <laughs> So yeah, I think that is everything. Um, yeah, so um, if you want to see how this turns out in after the pen, then be sure to to follow me on Instagram at k17plans. And um, if you want to see any more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like this one, please like, hit the thumbs up. Um, this is my current week as far as I am aware right now. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I can't really can't really do much else with it at this time so keep an eye out on Instagram thank you so much for watching guys all your support does mean a whole lot and I look forward to seeing you in my next video bye guys